Today we're doing a test run of the motor vessel David Sizer. It has run in the water a couple of times before. Uh, we modified the back of the hull to be a little bit longer so that we eliminated the cavitation effect on backing up. And uh, this is the first test run with the newly installed sound system. It is a Groppner 2351. It's an old system, but it works very fine. I got it from another, took it out of another boat that I had bought, used, and uh, we'll give it a little test run. As you heard, the bells are ringing. It also has a foghorn, and we have a bell that we can ring manually. Every 30 seconds, the time bell rings, the chime, and uh, also has a breaker sound for wave action. Turn that on. Also do a uh, Marston's siren. And of course we can start up the engine. This is probably the, the neatest effect that we have is starting and stopping the engines plus the variable speed when we run the throttle. idle. Let's take it backwards a little bit. Back to idle. A little bit forward a little bit. And I'm going to gradually increase up the full throttle. Move the rudder just a little bit. back to neutral, and we're going to back it on reverse. This is where we had the cavitation problem before. No cavitation problems. Steering works fine. Reverse. It's using flanking rudders. There's four rudders to front of each propeller. Each propeller is located in the port nozzle, and uh, the whole boat works very fine. Shut the motors off. Shut the breakers off. And there you have it. Take a little look, look underneath the water at the port nozzles and the thrusting rudders, flanking rudders. Viper speed control, 20 amp, and 
the servo for the rear rudder. Doesn't work very well, as you can see, it's very, very slow speed. I push the boat backwards, and you can see that the boat is still, even though the top rotation is just pushing the boat forward, it is barely moving at all. I made everything modular. Access to the powerhouse is very easy by just snap, snapping up the uh, upper deck. And detailed inside, navigation systems, refrigerator, the control console, even laptop computer, newspaper, two men in the pilot house, a uh, sofa, a sink, and some cabinets, and farewell to the lower deck. And the upper deck. The main deck that was removable. This crane, although it's not operational by radio control, it, is, it still functions. It swings. It's a knee bending crane. It, it does send out. All tracks built out of styrene. The boat. It's in place actually with a little magnet. So it doesn't slide off the deck. Coming back to the hull. The motor is mounted on a plate with plate in the bottom of the hull and on the top of that is spacers that has the plate that mounts the sound control and the receiver that's removable, the lower hull is removable this little shiny box it's got some ballast in it some steel balls and there's another plastic box underneath this corner that has a couple of more ball, ball bearings and that gives me the opportunity to fine tune the balance of the hull Top shafts come back here. We've got the stuffing boxes with the grease fittings on it, so I can just put a grease gun and squirt a little grease in there under some pressure, and that seals the shaft very well. And as you can see, there's absolutely no water inside this hull. On deck, details, the bumpers, rubber bumpers all the way around, which is actually some screen. Uh, room and enclosure beading. All of the fittings are all scratch made. The winch is scratch made. The men are from a German World War II German tank kit that's been modified uh, completely and life vests were added on. Being that the hull is scratch built, I had the opportunity to ch choose my own materials. And for this boat, I made the sides of the boat. That's actually the thickness of the wood is right from this foam hit to the edge. It's three quarters of an inch, uh, one by material. And the bottom of the hull is all one quarter inch wood. And the front and the backs are also one quarter inch wood. Actually, the back is just all solid for about uh, an inch and a half to two in an inch and three quarters. Got some styrofoam flotation in here just in case. I think the hull is probably pretty much float on its own with so much wood in there. The deck is a quarter of an inch thick. And I'm going to come around here and I'm just going to slide this back a little bit and come down with the camera so we can take a look at the port nozzles and the rudders because the underwater pictures probably didn't show everything real well.